Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Brent. And I'm RJ. And for the past couple of weeks, we've been working on something for you guys that we're super excited about. We've been teasing about it in other videos and we're finally ready to show you what that is. So, are you ready? Let's do it. In three, two, one. We have merch! Check it out, guys. So, behind the scenes, we've been working on merch for you. We have this peach color that RJ's wearing. Uh, it's got this white, nice logo on it. And then we have the blue one with a blue and white logo. Um, these are gonna sell out very quick. We're very limited with stock. So if you guys wanna get yourselves a shirt, the link will be down in the description. It's gonna be the first link. And we just wanna let you guys know that these shirts were made by us. We picked out the shirt. We made sure it was good quality. We picked out the logos. We picked out everything. And, uh, yeah. and like I said, these aren't made by Teespring. This isn't some Gildan garbage that's gonna itch you or scratch you. They're these so are, comfortable, they're guys. They're nice shirts, yeah. and we wanted to make sure that we had quality to bring you guys, and we're also gonna bring it at a pretty affordable price, so. Yeah, and we've actually been giving them to some of our friends and family. If you guys wanna see what they look like on other people, boom, 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 boom. Boom. These colors are limited. We're not gonna be running anymore once the stock that we have is gone. So if you like the black and blue version or you like the peach and white, definitely hop on it quick because they won't be here for that long. Yeah, if you guys like our videos and wanna support us, this is a great way to do so. So uh, you wanna tell them a little bit about the car we're doing today? Yeah, we have a 2016 Range Rover Sport SE. It's, it's sick. It's a really nice vehicle. And uh, she has a yellow lab that she takes all over the place for walks and, and hikes, et cetera, et cetera. So the interior is covered in hair and dog <laughs> hair, which is, uh, it hurts me because this vehicle is really, really nice. But uh, but she had she gave us a call and said that she wanted to, to get it detailed inside and out. So um, yeah, should be a really good video for you guys. So the outside of this Range Rover obviously wasn't in too bad of shape, but it needed a maintenance wash and wax. But once we got to the inside, you can see how much dog hair was everywhere. We opted to leave the seats in on this one because we didn't want to mess with the car too much and we felt it was safe for us to do it that way. So anytime we wash a car's exterior, we always use the two bucket method. That way we can minimize how much dirt is in the wash mitt between panels. And as for the rims, we're using a light non-acid cleaner to lift any dirt or brake dust off of them to get them clean again. All right guys, so it's time for the question of the video. Comment down below who your favorite detailing channel on YouTube is. I know you wanna say us, you don't have to say us, but if you have another favorite, let us know and we'll check them out.
If you're in the market for a new brush kit that has a huge variety of different brushes, this work stuff kit is great because it comes with a very soft brush that works so well on the emblems and any other places your wash mitt might miss. So I'll leave a link down below to Car Supplies Warehouse where you can find them along with many other amazing products. Before clay barring the vehicle, we spray it with an iron decontamination to get any ferrous metals out of the clear coat. And we let that sit for about 10 minutes before washing it off. And then we'll use our claying mitts on the vehicle as they make the process a lot faster. RJ's absolute favorite wax to use on cars is Colonite 845, and if you're looking for a good long-lasting wax to use on your own cars, we have the link to this down in the description and we highly recommend it. Alright guys, so now that the outside of this car is looking great again, before I hop on the inside, I wanted to take a second to mention that if you do end up buying our merch, make sure to take a picture in it and post it on Instagram and tag us. I'll leave my Instagram and the WD one on the screen now, so you can tag both of those and then we'll be taking your pictures and putting them in our upcoming videos. So definitely do that if you buy some and again, we just really appreciate all the support. If you want to support us, this is a great way to do so because any of the profit we get from selling this merch will just go back into the channel to make better quality videos for you guys. So thank you so much and we're going to move on to the inside. Thank you. 
you already know we had to bust out that lily brush. If you guys have pets and you bring them in your car and you don't have this tool, you need it. I promise you it will save you so much time when you're cleaning your car. Get it. Please get it. When it comes to leather cleaning, we use the Lexol brand products to clean, and at the end of the detail, we'll use our 303 to soften and protect them to get them feeling nice and comfortable again. You also want to make sure you use very, very light pressure with the brush to avoid cracking or ripping the leather.
We've been seeing a lot of comments lately asking what our professional extractor is called, and it's the Mighty Light 8070. It's pretty pricey, but if you plan on starting a detail business, or if you already have one and you're looking for a really solid extractor, I can't recommend this one enough. It cuts down extraction time compared to a Bissell or any other brand, probably by like 70%, and it gets that deep clean you're looking for. So when it comes to some of these higher end vehicles like Range Rover, Mercedes, BMW, anything that's over in the you know sixty to seventy thousand dollar range or higher, um, you have to be wary about the navigation screen having something called an AG coating, which is an anti glare coating, which helps uh, you still see what's on the screen while it's really sunny out. So the only way that you should clean these is either with a brand new towel that has no contaminants or any other type of products or chemicals on it and just water or a specific cleaner that's used for like MacBooks or other really sensitive screens that are, are prone to scratching. So, um, and you wanna wipe really, really lightly. You know, you're just trying to remove the finger smudges and any other dirt and debris and be very conscious to not scratch anything because these are not cheap to replace.
All right, so as you guys just saw, this Range Rover came out great. It's ready to turn some heads, and uh, I think the owner's gonna be really happy. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, like usual, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'm telling you, this merch is gonna sell out very fast, so if you want it, make sure you cop it, the first link in the description, and other than that, we'll see you guys next Friday. Peace.